Hey, what are you staring at? Looking to start something? Oh, here to investigate the chasm, are you? It's about time. I can't take all the credit for finding the rift, you know. Mika here fell in first. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been more useful to find gold deposits. Oh, will you stop your belly aching? Well, it's quite a ways out of town. We were tracking a buck off in that direction, you see, before this dark spawn mess. We'd been on his tail for about a week at that point. I'd wager he thought it was great fun leading us on a merry chase as he did. That buck was a sly one, he was. He had big feet and a... <clears throat> oh, the chasm, yes. Uh, we saw it coming over our rise. It was really something to behold. A huge cleft, as though the Maker himself had cracked the earth in two, like... Mm. like an egg. I like eggs. It looked like someone had tried to build over it, but it must have been abandoned a long time ago. No one in town knew about it. Well, people, I suppose. Maybe even the Darkspawn. Well, of course, we had to investigate. That was when Mika fell in. A shriek like you wouldn't believe, and he was gone. Earth crumbled, not stable. Right. And as Mika lay there yelling about his knee or his head or what have you, the Darkspawn appeared. Uh, more than a brood and less than a horde. They seemed occupied, like they had some place really important they had to be. Didn't notice us at all, think the Maker. The Darkspawn was so occupied as to overlook two screaming injured men. Boggles the mind. I marked the chasm on my map so we could avoid it, but... Sounds like you want to know where it is, so here you go. So, we're getting anything for our trouble. A whole sovereign. If there's ever a reason to fall into a darkspawn pit, here it is. Maker bless you. Ah, oh, can you smell that? That is the smell of freedom. It comes complete with the smell of dogs and dust, but the freedom is in there too. I escaped from the tower seven times. After the last time, they put me in solitary confinement for a year. Eventually, I'm sure they would have branded me a Maleficar, true or not, and executed me. They're not murderers. They only kill mages when they can prove we're dangerous, for the good of all. The problem is that mages are tolerated, barely. It's like you need permission to be alive. There's nothing a mage can do to prove himself. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. I should oh. certainly hope so. Ugh. All I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. See? I knew you understood. Never mind me. Now and again I recall that I'm not sitting in a cell and I have to smile. That's all. Uh, excuse me, but I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. But I have to. Constable's orders. We've been having trouble with smugglers and... What are you doing, man? Are you accusing the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? But I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. I apologize. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. Yes, Warden Commander. The smugglers have a scrambling, to be honest. We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. Warden Commander! Thank the Maker you're finally here! I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Yes. Thank you for coming to the Guild. We need your help. Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes, and uh, there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. We don't know for sure. Communication has been difficult with the attacks, but people in the area said they saw monsters lurking in the shadows. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help at all? 
Others start making excuses when they hear how brutal the killings have been. The Grey Wardens are our last hope. Oh, Maker, bless you and watch over you. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant's Guild will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise. Oi, about time you showed up. The Mayor, you're still here. I keep my promises. Here, turns out you were right. The cash is here in Amaranthine. It is? You, you found it? I did. What you do with that information is up to you. I, for one, am done dealing with mages. Uh... I guess I should thank you. <laughs> Damned right you should. You get caught, Anders? I'm not helping you again. That's all I'm saying. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. She's normally more welcoming than that. A lot more. Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need to destroy it. What's to stop the Chantry from deciding mages and the Grey Wardens are apostates too? I want to be sure they can't ever find me again. Ever. They might. I only know mine is there for certain. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. So, uh, you think there's an apothecary around here somewhere? Well, yeah, I don't want to bother you with this. You being my boss and all. I've tried those, but they only stop the itching for a few hours. Right. Look, for the past few days, I've had this burning rash. The skin's actually got a sort of greenish look to it. You know, I bet it's that Grey Warden stuff we had to drink. Too late for regrets. Yeah, I'll just see if I can't find some nice minty balm somewhere in this town. And here I almost believed the infamous Anders wouldn't take the bait. Ha! Ah, yes. I suppose I should have known it would be you. You made a poor choice with this one, Commander. Anders will never submit. Not to us and not to you. So far, yes. I'll make sure that this murderer is never a bother to anyone again. What? No, you can't arrest me! King Alistair allowed my conscription. The Chantra's authority supersedes the crown in this matter. You cannot hide within the Grey Warden's ranks. Hardly surprising from yet another mage. I do not know how you inspire such loyalty, Anders, but it will avail you naught. Now you come with us. I wonder if Nemea knew about this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Thank you. You stood by me, and I appreciate that. That's because they're all jerks. Anyhow, let's go before someone else rushes in to waggle a finger at us. Oh, it is so good to see you, my friend. I contemplated visiting you at Vigil's Keep, but things got busy. The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness! I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage, but they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. 
Well, it could turn out to be nothing, but keep your ear to the ground anyway. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra, but perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Ines, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood. The Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the College. Oh, who knows, rooting around in the dirt for some obscure plant or other, most likely. She has a keen interest in gardening. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant botany. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Ines is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason. Something we could use on our side. The hour is late and I must go. It was wonderful to see you again. Take care, my friend. Something I can do for you, friend. And who are you supposed to be that's asking? Oh, welcome, my lord. Haven't seen that fellow Christoph for almost a week now. Not sure where he went. His room's paid up to the end of the month. I guess he expected he'd be here a while. Not much. He chatted up Saoirse a bit when she brought him his dinner. Maybe talk to her. Of course. Here you go. It's the last room at the end of the hall. If he comes back and gets upset, however, it's on your head. Nothing to wet your whistle, stranger. We chatted a bit. He was a friendly sort for a Grey Warden. Spent most of his nights here drinking. Wasn't ever loud or too forward. Haven't seen him for maybe a week now. Said he was tracking some Darkspawn. One particular group that's been raiding outside the city. He told me they were acting strange, those Darkspawn. Acting obvious, like they wanted to be caught or something. I expect he caught them. Probably why he hasn't been back, right? No, he took a lot of notes while he drank. Always writing things down. Maybe there's something in his room. My pleasure. Send him my best when you see him. Ah, Warden Commander. I take it you've decided to help us. With trade slow to a crawl, smugglers have moved in, selling stolen goods at exorbitant prices. If we could shut down their operation and seize their supplies, we could distribute it to the needy. There is a smuggler doing business in the market. He probably knows where the hideout is. Greetings. Could I interest you in... Uh... Wait a minute. My lad said they saw you talking to the... You'll learn not to stick your nose where it don't belong. Any luck with the smugglers? That house has been locked up for years. To think that all this time it's been hiding the entrance. There will surely be someone on guard. Where there's a guard, there's a key. If you can find a way into the hideout, the smugglers won't have a chance. Good luck, Commander. Anything to report? The city of Amaranthine owes you a great debt. Thank you, Commander. So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? Is it? You've never thought about it? Does nobody ever leave the Wardens? You can run, but you can't hide? I think I've heard that before. I've never liked the idea of being trapped somewhere, to be honest. It reminds me of the Circle. After my seventh escape attempt, you'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. I got really good at escaping the Tower. Just never good at staying escaped. Until now, I suppose. You know, there is one thing I miss about the Tower. <laughs> my cat. Mr. Wiggums. He wasn't my cat, he was the Tower's mouser. But he took a liking to me. There were days when that stupid cat was the only person I saw. Except for it not being a person. Still, I liked him. Poor Mr. Wiggums. He became possessed by a rage demon. But he did take out three Templars. Oh, I was never more proud. A toast to Mr. Wiggums, then. May he forever eat mice in the Fade. I'm here to serve, Commander. I will do what can be done, but you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the Vigil considerably. Very well, Commander. 
Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Lieges and vassals are seldom of one mind, Commander. Some of these lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthine. Commander. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine, as is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against him or his heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck... And so the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. Perhaps you do not know the full extent of their determination. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives. They are cryptic things. Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. I would take this matter seriously, Warden. They know of your capabilities, and they're spending a fortune to see their aims fulfilled. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. Honored to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbreck. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbreck. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Thank you, my liege. I see that Lord Edelbreck wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. Amaranthin is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. <laughs> Pragmatism. A farming hovel can be rebuilt with straw and mud. Amaranthine was built over generations. If she falls, then this great Arling will be diminished. Wealth is well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event. Commander? Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Edelbrecht speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade. As you wish. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. She's a sly one, Sir Tamra but knowledgeable about such things. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. <laughs> Loghain and half the kingdom tried to stop you last time. I suppose there's little to worry about. Anything else? There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbreck, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Van Esmeral rules the city. 
Wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. 